In this video, we are going to write standard form of equation of a parabola with the given equations. For example, number one, we have y squared plus 10y minus 12x plus 13 equals zero. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to find which among the formula are we going to use. Always remember when we are talking about parabola, we have two different kinds of equation. If our parabola opens upward, or downward, we are using formula x minus h square equals 4p times the quantity of y minus k. And if our parabola opens to the right or to the left, we are using formula y minus k square equals 4p times x minus h. So by mere inspection, we can say that our parabola is opens to the right or to the left because of y is exponent. Now, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to move negative 12x plus 13 to the side of 0. So therefore, we have y squared plus 10y minus or equals 12x minus 13. Now, the next step is we're going to make this expression into perfect square trinomial. So all we have to do is y squared plus 10y plus blank equals 12x minus 13 plus blank. Whenever we add in the left side of the equation, we're going to add on the other side of the equation. So we're going to divide the middle term by 2, 10 divided by 2, that is 5. 5 squared is 25. So we add 25 to make this expression as perfect square trinomial. So therefore, we're going to add another 25 on the other side, and then we're going to square a binomial. So the square, square root of y squared is y, the sign of the middle term is positive. The square root of 25 is 5. That's why we have y plus 5 square equals 12x. Negative 13 plus 25 is positive 12. So to write this equation, so y plus 5 square, we're going to factor 12x plus 12 into 12. 12 multiplied by x plus 1. So this will be the standard form of equation of a parabola. Now, what are the information that we're going to get in this equation? So our center here is the value of h is negative 1 and the value of k is negative 5 because in our formula we have negative k and negative h. That's why we have negative 1 and negative 5. And also, the value of p is 4p equals 12. So divide both sides by 4. So the value of p here is 3. So therefore, we can say that our parabola is open to the right with the center negative 1 and negative 5. On number 2 example, we have x squared minus 2x plus 8y minus 15 equals 0. So we can say that our parabola is open upward or downward because of x squared. So we are going to convert this equation in the form of x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to move positive 8y minus 15 to the side of 0. So therefore, we have x squared minus 2x plus or equals rather negative 8y plus 15. And then we're going to have a completing the square. We're going to complete this, this equation. So we have x squared minus 2x plus blank equals negative 8y plus 15 plus blank. Whenever we add on the left side, we're going to add on the other side. So we're going to divide negative 2 by 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. So we add 1 to complete this trinomial. So we're going to add 1 on the other side. That's why we're going to get the square root of this perfect square trinomial. So we have x, sorry, x minus 1 square. The square root of x squared is x. Sign of the middle term is negative. Square root of 1 is 1. Then square equals negative 8y plus 15 plus 1 is 16. So to, to simplify our equation, we're going to have x minus 1 square equals, we're going to factor by 8 or negative 8, negative 8 
multiply by y minus 2. Negative 8 times y is negative 8y. Negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. So therefore, this will be our standard form of equation of a parabola. Now, what are the information that we can get using this equation? So as you can see, we have your center that is h and center that is h and k. So therefore, our center is we have one and positive two because of the their sign. That's why we have positive one and positive two. And for the value of p that is four p equals negative eight. Divide both sides by four. Therefore, our p is negative two. So we can say that. Our parabola is open downward because our p is negative 2. And then if our parabola opens downward, we can say that the center is the maximum point.